Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Overdrive here, and today I'm playing Entropia Universe. What we're going to be doing today is we are going to be hanging out on Next Island and talking about Adeeds. So because we're on Next Island, the specific focus is probably going to be Ancient Greece Adeeds, but we're going to be talking about all these, just discussing everything, and um, talking about sort of what I think as far as where everything's going and where everything's headed. Uh, one thing I'd like you guys to remember, though, is that this is only for entertainment purposes. Don't go ahead and invest your life savings or do something ridiculous because of stuff that I say. Um, anyways, let's, let's get into this as soon as I can just get out of my ship here. It's looking like this. Is, let's see. There we go. All right. There we go. We're good. Um, so, yeah. Here's the deal. With Deeds, there have been some incredible returns recently. Let's go ahead and just take a look at this because I think that's sort of the first thing you've got to do. If you look at the PED Flow Center, you can see roughly how much I'm getting for all my Deeds. You can see here, we're still sitting around an all-time high for CL Deeds or Calypso Land Deeds. Those are paying quite a bit per Deed. So if we take, basically, we're just going to run the numbers on all this. I've got 20 Deeds, um, which is a lot. I did not buy them at their current prices. So you get 20 Deeds, right? So basically, let's take 73.05. It's not that all the time. You can see 69 uh, down here, 73, 75 over here. I think 72, let's say that's the average that they're paying out. This is a rough calculation here. Divide that by 20. We're getting about 3.6 PDs per deed per week. Multiply that by 52. You've got 187.2 PDs returned on these Calypso land deeds. So now what I want to do is take the market value, which is about 2,750, and just you know, figure out what the percent is. So CLDs are paying about 6.8%. They are the most expensive deeds on the market, like as far as pricing goes. So that is going to hold the price down a little bit because some people just can't get over that barrier to entry as far as like how much one deed costs. But one thing to keep in mind is these are sort of the oldest deeds in game and Calypso is the most sort of well-known planet. So a lot of people are willing to put more money into it because it's seen as a safer investment. Okay, so next up, let's pull up the PD Flow Center. Let's go to land area income. Here you can see these are sort of the Arcadia Ds, what they're paying out. This is about one to two PEDs every day. So let's say about 1.5 P, or sorry, 1.5 PECs um, that they're paying out per day. So 0 0.015. Um, and then if you wanna figure that out, um, you just multiply that by like the number of days in a year, 352. And then um, you get the, your sort of average payout, which is about 5.28 PEDs per deed. If you look at the value of the Arcadia Underground deeds, they're valued at about 105. Let's just call it 100 just to keep it simple, which means you're basically getting a 5.28%. So at this rate, this would all make sense, right? Calypso land deeds are paying out about 1 point something percent higher than Arcadia Underground deeds. This makes sense because Arcadia Underground deeds are priced lower, so there's more people willing to buy them even though the percent payout's lower. So that like, all makes sense so far. Next up, let's look at this, because this is, this is an interesting one. Arcadia Moon deeds. I only have 13 of these. I keep them on my inventory just because I think it's important to know what they're paying out. Now, if you look at the payouts for Arcadia Moon deeds, I don't really have many. This was the last time that these deeds paid me out, okay? This was over, this was, this was like almost a month ago, okay? Almost a month ago, these deeds paid out. Not weekly, monthly. Like, these, they just, I don't know what to say about them. They just don't pay. But they're still valued fairly high. Um, so let, let, let's run the percent on this because you guys are going to be, yeah, it's, this, this one's crazy. Um, so let's see, point is zero, 0.01. So they're paying out one PEC. Let's say twice a month. Let's give them a little bit of credit here. So let's take that number by 24, right? They're paying out 24 PECs a year, okay? Now let's divide this by their average price. Let's say that's 40. Actually, yeah. Let's say it's 40, okay? So 0.24 divided by 40, 0.6% is what Arcadia Moon Deeds are paying out. Um, so right here, this is when like the arrows start flashing and everybody starts screaming and... You know, everybody gets mad at everybody. Um, you can see there was a payout here, okay? So if we're going back in time, right, let's... So 19th, we got a payout, right? What is it? 16th, we got a payout. 12th, we got a payout. 10th, we got a payout. Okay, so looking at this now, looking at this logically, something ridiculous happened. I have no idea what it is, but 
uh, maybe I'm missing something. Because right here, we, like, what? They paid out on the 16th, and then the payouts jump? 19th? The, these are... See, this is where I'm confused, because, like, I don't know... What is this? It's so hard to track these payouts, because I don't, I don't know if this is a payout or not. Is this? Is this what they're paying out? 4.02? No, I think those are Arcadia. Oh, man. See, this is like, oh, these payouts are like pretty confusing, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Um, it looks like the daily payouts are the Arcadia deeds. But then if we do the math, let's, let's see if it works, right? The easiest way to figure this out is 134. Let's do 402 divided by 134. It's three. So th those are, those. Are, yeah, all right. So just, so just so you guys know, we confirm those are the Arcadia Underground payouts. But the problem we've got here is these Arcadia Moon Deeds, they just stop paying out for some reason. I have no idea why. And that makes it very hard to calculate because it looks like they were almost paying out every other day and then all of a sudden they just stopped. Um, so I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, honestly. Um, and if, if we assume that they're paying out every like two to three days, then obviously the numbers are going to get a lot nicer in favor of Arcadia Moon. Um, and maybe let's say, what, six? So pay out in the 12th, so every like four days. So let's pay, let, let, all right, let's, let's give them the benefit of the doubt, right? Let's say they, they're paying out 0 0.02 PECs a week, okay? Which would be about 1.04 PEDs. Let's make it 1.1. Okay, we're giving them a little bit of credit. We're giving them some credit here. 1.1 PDs a year is what these Arcadia Moon Deeds are paying out. You divide that by, let's say, 38, and you're getting about 2.8% return. So no matter what, Arcadia Moon Deeds are not returning. Um, and this is sort of an, I don't know, th this is an example of the market just being unpredictable here, right? For some reason, Arcadia Moon Deeds are valued higher then Arcadia Underground, and Calypso Land Deeds. So obviously, I think this is just a lot of people have belief that Arcadia Moon is going to, you know, take off because Arcadia is developing. And we'll, we'll get into that later because this does actually play into the point that I'll probably end up making. Um, and then we've got Crystal Palace Deeds. These things have just been killing it recently. Um, you know, I... I think I was a bit of a doubter in the beginning, but, like, I've, I've been, you know, I've been converted, right? Like, they're... They're, they're paying out what, about, I've got 70 of these, they're paying about 0 0.02 PECs a week, it looks like, is that right? Oh, let's see, dividend, dividend. Yeah, it looks like about a week, right? So 0 0.02 PECs a week. Yeah, let's say 1.5, okay? 1.5 PECs a week. Again, we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna run the math on this again. And my math is, my math skills are horrible, so um, if I got something wrong, you know, that's how it works. So 0.78 PECs, or 0.78 PEDs, that's what we're getting per year, right? Per deed. We're figuring this all out on a per deed basis. Let's say the deeds are costing, I don't know, 18.5, just to keep it simple. This seems like a nice round number to go with. Um, so you divide by that. Basic return, you're getting about 4.2% return. So again, Crystal Palace paying out a little bit more than Arcadia Moon Deeds, even though the deeds are priced at a higher or at a lower value. So this on its surface doesn't make sense. But Crystal Palace Space Station is pretty much not under development anymore. So there's nothing new that really is in the pipeline for that, whereas Arcadia Moon has a little bit more potential. So we can use that to explain the pricing difference here. The reason these are paying out so much more than these two right here, which would be Calypso Land Deeds and Arcadia Underground Deeds, is because these two are a little bit harder to get. They're a little bit higher priced. This is a pretty low barrier to entry. It's something that's pretty well known. A lot of people jump in and throw their money in because, again, Crystal Palace has been around for a while. I'd say Crystal Palace actually has more, like, holding power than something like Arcadia Underground. And with the deeds being priced lower, like, it sort of makes sense in the 4% range. Like, that fits. Now let's do Ancient Greece. Um, so Ancient Greece, if you look at this here, you can see I recently sold some and then I bought some and there, there's there's a whole mess of things going in. But let's let's check out the dividends here. You can see I had about 100, 100 deeds at the time. Um, and the amount that I got was two PDs right here. Um, right here. Why is this going in this? This is like a weird. Okay. Um, one sec. I'm just trying to understand why we're doing this. 
Okay. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I was looking. I'm looking at 2020. All right. I got confused. I'm, I might have got confused with Crystal Palace. We're going to have to go back and recalculate that one, folks. Um, so, yeah, let, let's go ahead and look at this. Okay. So, you can see here, these deeds are paying about a one PEC a week. Um, I think that's honestly where we're sitting with uh, these deeds. Um, let's go back after the sell holdings. Let's go to these dividends here. You can see one PEC here. One here. This actually, this is like every two weeks, isn't it? So this is a two-week divide here. Let's see what else we've got here. Eighteenth, fourth. So yeah, all right. Let's say, let's say point five. Okay. Let's say ancient Greece deeds are paying out about point five PECs a week. And I think I well, maybe I'll give them a little bit more credit. We're up, we're on next island after all. Um, let's say point six. Okay. Point six per week times fifty-two. That's uh, 31.2 PEC, so 0.312. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that number and divide it by what they're selling for. Let's say what we, it looks like 9.5 is a fair value for them. So those are paying out about 3.2%. Now, again, it's, it's hard to know because it looks like the percentages has been going up. These are a little bit harder to sort by because there's all these different events. You can organize it by dividends, I believe. But then you've got this problem of like, I mean, let's see. Yeah, this problem of like ordering here. So it's easier to do by created and it's like a mess. But if, if we go back far enough, you can see here, it's just dividends. Um, and again, it looks like every two weeks it's paying about one PEC. So I think 0.6 is fairly fair for it. Let's go back and calculate Crystal Palace one more time just because I'm thinking I did it wrong and I'm pretty sure I did do it wrong. Um, okay, so the dividend's 0.2. Okay, yeah, yeah. The dividend looks like it's gonna be holding about 0.2 PECs, right? Um, but yeah, this was, yeah, 0.1. What, what, what should we go with this for this? I'm gonna say, all right, so it's at every, all right. Crystal Palace, let's redo this, okay? <laughs> Sorry about this, folks. They are paying out every week, one PEC to two PECs. It looks like they're paying about something like 1.2, let's say, PECs, maybe 1.5. Let's say 1. Point, let's say 1.4, okay? 1.4 PECs per week, right? So multiply that by 52, you're sitting at 72.8 PEC. So 0.728, divide that by their price, which I think we said was 18.5. They're paying about 3.9, let's say 4%. So again, it's sort of, it's a little bit, the numbers change a little bit, but it still sort of fits in roughly where we expect it to. The one outlier here, obviously, ancient Greece deeds, I think we figured the percent on that was like 3.8 or something like that. So ancient Greece and Arcadia moon deeds, they, the percent that they pay out is a little bit lower, okay? It's a lower percent than all the other deeds. And I think this is for a reason, right? Calypso, Arcadia Underground, and Crystal Palace have not been developed in a while. There haven't really been that many updates for them. So these are sort of more like your... your typical investment vehicles sort of like you you, you know what they're going to be paying you know that these deeds are just going to keep paying out the same value roughly whereas ancient greece and arcadia moon are more speculative based on the percentages it looks like arcadia moon is actually more speculative than ancient greece and in my opinion i think that might be a weakness in the market um so here, bo both of these are speculative. Both of these, honestly, if you're looking at best value for your money right now, neither of these deeds should be your pick. But if you're looking at content created for each of these, and you look at Ancient Greece, and you look at the Arcadia Moon, I believe that Ancient Greece has a lot more sort of growing potential than Arcadia Moon. So I think that the deed prices should almost be flipped. I think that Ancient Greece deeds, when you run the numbers and the price, should be worth more and or Arcadia Moon Deeds should be worth less. So let's go over to Ancient Greece, and you can see here, this is sort of, um, how do we, can I not go here from here? Oh yeah, I've got to go to like, uh, I think there's, how do, how do I, 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 thought, I thought I could just do this like you always do it, but I think there's like a whole uh, thing to it. You've got to go to the runes, right? There's, there's a whole way to get to Ancient Greece. I'm probably not going to bother with it now, because um, I completely forgot, to be honest. Um, just give this a shot here. 
yeah, I'll figure that out for another video. Um, but anyways, yeah, there's, there's a whole way to get to ancient Greece. I'm pretty sure it's just like you run through this stuff and everything works. Um, but yeah, ancient Greece, I think has a little bit more potential than some of the other places that we've seen. So, um, I guess, I, I don't know. I guess my, my advice with all of this, my sort of where I stand with all this is, I like ancient Greece and I like sort of what next Island has done as far as Arcadia goes. They haven't really done too much in the past like year or so, you know, they're, they're big, they're big thing for both these planets. Their big thing was to release investment vehicles, but I think ancient Greece has delivered on it more than, um, than Arcadia. I think the developers have delivered more to ancient Greece than developers have delivered to Arcadia Moon. And one of the things I don't like about how they treated Arcadia Moon was that development sort of stopped until people sold, until the deeds sold out. And even now that the deeds are sold out, I'm not seeing anything crazy coming. Like they've had years to do this. They've had funding for years. The fact that the deeds were not fully sold out, it doesn't mean that they didn't have any money to develop with. That's that's just a lie if they tell you that, right? Like, they had money. There was money that they got, I assume. Unless Mindark's just holding it all. But there there should have been money that they got, right? Oh, this is this is some crazy shit we got going on here. Way too many monkeys. Um, but there, there oh yeah, that's, that was going to happen. But there was some value there. There were deeds being sold, and they didn't really use that. That money, I would love to see how it got spent. Because in my opinion, Arcadia made a killing... And they didn't deliver much. They delivered Arcadia Moon, okay? But it, it's, it stopped. Like, there, there was nothing that came after that. I didn't feel like Arcadia Moon developed for... I, I just... I don't, I don't see it. I don't see where the money went. I don't see how people can pay this money in. And this is all we get to show for it, right? Like, we're basically... The money that they made, that Arcadia got for Arcadia Moon, is basically enough to fund a small game. And I do not think we got a small game's worth of content, right? We got a add-on. We got a lot of assets being reused, a few new assets, a small add-on. But we did, I, I just, I, I don't feel like we got enough for our money to make sense of like where that money went. Whereas with ancient Greece, for now, I can see it because one of the things with ancient Greece is when you compare this, you've got to realize. Arcadia Moon is sold out. They've made all their money. That's it. Ancient Greece hasn't sold out yet. So if we go here, if we go here, you look at Ancient Greece, and you look at offers, all these, this amount of deeds, this is currently unsold, okay? And it does not look like they're really selling out fast because we got people selling under that. So what this means is, like, for the most part, I think, like, a huge percentage, probably like in the 80% range of ancient Greece deeds are still being held onto by ancient Greece, but we're not being held at like hostage here. Like they're continuing development. There's cool things happening. There's waves going on. There's people visiting them. They're making some returns. And yeah, I don't know. Like originally I, I felt like both Arcadia Moon and ancient Greece were in the same category. And in a lot of ways, I still feel like they are, but I think ancient Greece should be a little bit more, we should be a little bit more hopeful about where ancient Greece is going than where we think Arcadia Moon's going. So that for that reason, I think that the valuations need to be changed a little bit. And whether that's Arcadia Moon deeds dropping down in value or ancient Greece deeds going up in value, I don't really know. Um, and that's what remains to be seen, right? That's, that, that's where everybody gets mad at me because I'm not giving you an answer, right? Like, I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't know where that should, what, what should happen with that. Am I in? I don't think I'm, all right. Yeah, I'm not in lootable PvP. What is this area that I'm in anyways? What is this called? Ancient Runes. That's it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know where to, where to go with this, really. Um, but I, I just think there is, there is some sort of issue with the valuation. I think it is off by something. And I think there's, a savvy person, I think there is something that they can do with this knowledge to um, make a thing happen. I just don't know exactly what it is, but I, w I would like to like give props where props is due because 
ancient greece like came out even though the deeds didn't really sell we're not being held hostage we're still allowed to sell the deeds everything that i said went wrong with the arcadia moon release has been corrected with the uh with the ancient greece release and it's good to see because it means that honestly like someone whether it was mind arc or I, I don't know who it was someone took into consideration what players were saying what players wanted and they made it happen and that's really cool to see and that's something that i think i, th- I think you just can't ignore that right you can't ignore the fact that they they made something happen right like they they did things better this time with these deeds released and i'm not sure why things couldn't have been better with the arcadia moon release i'm not sure why deed contracts weren't allowed to be changed to favor holders later on but um for whatever reason they weren't and for whatever reason it took quite a bit of time for people that held arcadia moon deeds to get their value out of it and the fact that the deeds are still holding value is actually quite um it's quite it's quite concerning to me because it, it it shows you how people are valuing things in Entropia Universe, and I think it shows you how people are incorrectly valuing some things inside of Entropia Universe. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. What do, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm right about this? Do you think my analysis was right? Do you think the deed prices are where I'm saying they are? Do you think I'm completely off my head on this? Do you think I did... I don't know. Maybe I did the calculations wrong. Like, that is a possibility. That's a very likely possibility. Um, so, yeah, let me let me know in the comments what you think because, you know, there, there's always that hope internally that, like, I got something wrong and someone's going to come in and just be like, no, nope, everything makes sense because of this, this, and that. Um, and if, if that's true, that's that's what I'd like to see, honestly, because in an ideal world, I think everything would be, you know, have a ton of potential everything would be a great buy and it would all make sense and that's um not what i'm seeing right now but maybe maybe it will be maybe you guys will uh help me out here let's talk to this avatar right oh i see we can choose between okay we'll do that later we'll do that later um so yeah that's and my avatar no longer moves does it okay so yeah, that, that's all I've got for this video, and I'm completely stuck in place right now for some reason. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I'll figure that one out. Maybe. Let's try that. Still can't move. Okay. So it looks like we've got a bit of a bug here, and that's going to end the video. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this wasn't too confusing to everybody, and hopefully it made sense. But basically the way it works is Calypso Land Deeds, Arcadia Underground Deeds, and Crystal Palace Deeds are sort of old school we know what they're worth we know where everything stands with them ancient greece arcadia moon a bit more speculative they're not paying out as much as the other three deeds listed the prices don't sort of match the payouts like the other deeds were that we were talking about but there probably is a little bit more speculative value there and the only thing that i sort of disagree with is the fact that arcadia moon has more speculative value than ancient greece and i think those two should be flipped and i'm not sure in what way they should be flipped right this this is an instance of like saying, you know, I like Tesla, but I think Tesla is worth too much compared to Ford. There's two options here. Either I think Ford should be worth more or Tesla should be worth less. And I'm not really sitting there and telling you what it is. I'm just saying like, this is a thing and this is what I'd like to point out. So uh, that's what's going on here. And by the way, that Tesla Ford example is just an example. I don't, I actually believe it. Maybe I do. Who knows? But Yeah. That's all I've got for t- for today. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully you guys liked the video. It wasn't like classic serial overdrive hunting or mining. It was a lot of just analytics and talking about the deeds and everything like that, but I enjoy doing it, so hopefully you guys enjoy listening to it. Thank you so much for listening, though, and uh, until next time, peace.